Hello everyone, Larry back with you again in a little bit different video this time. We uh, had a business trip, a quick trip out to Denver, Colorado. Uh, left on Monday, Juneteenth, and uh, then came back today on Wednesday. And I'm leaving then in the morning for uh, another company meeting that will last through this, uh, this Sunday. But I just wanted to share with you a little bit of the excerpts of this trip that we took to Denver and our experience uh, out there and then uh, our flights to and from Denver. So come on and join us for this trip. Hope you enjoy. If you do, give us a thumbs up. Always please subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to leave a comment and share it with a friend. So come on everybody. Hope you enjoy the video. Okay, this is Scott. Hello. So, yeah, Scott, tell us briefly what you kind of told us up there. About. Okay. We are Lakewood Alley Winery. We are in a building that was built in the early 1900s. It was a gas station. It's been a little bit of everything in between, but um, we still have our fan belt hangers on the wall. Up underneath the table here is still a old uh, hydraulic lift. But we've converted everything into a winery. We have 79 gallon tanks and 52 gallon tanks. We put our juice in here and in about six to eight weeks, we have a wonderful tank of wine, we hope. We take it out of there, filter it, bottle it, and at this present time, all we do is sell right here on site. Um, a full tank of this will make about 300 bottles. The smaller tanks will make about 225. And I can testify to the fact that it is very tasty, what we have had so far. Well, I appreciate that. And we try to use locally sourced fruits if possible, okay. but um, it's, it's hard to find some of those good grapes that, uh, that'll be able to grow in Alabama. So you so order those in? We order it in a concentrated form, comes in a five gallon, uh, concentrate oh. jug that's okay. frozen. We pour it into the tanks. Those tanks will then be filled with uh, our filtered water, throw our other ingredients in there and pitch some yeast and hopefully everything turns out wonderfully. So from the time you start, how long until the wine's ready? From the time we get it off of the truck, we try to put it directly into the tank. Um, because it's solid. It's it's frozen when it leaves Michigan. Okay. By the time it gets here, it's it's a slurry. We dump it in there, uh, have to let it get up to room temperature. So that adds a day or two to it. And finally, after about six weeks, we'll take a uh, specific gravity on it, hope that everything is right. We'll filter it and we shoot for a six week uh, bottling period. Okay, very good. Well, Scott, thanks. Thank you so much. Thank you all for coming in. Uh, I look forward to seeing y'all come back again. Yes, we hope to sometime.
Well, there you have it, folks. And as you can see, this is the very same setting as the introduction that we put to the video. I decided I would film both at the same time. And uh, so we just completed the trip back from Denver, about a two hour and 13 minute flight from Denver, uh, non-eventful, uh, beautiful weather out there and all across coming back and then uh, got back to Birmingham and we're back in the heat of uh, the state of Alabama again. So uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, as I said at the beginning of this, please be sure to uh, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment down below and as always, share it with a friend. So until next time, folks, this is Larry. Have a good one. See you. Bye-bye.